Hey everyone, Tech OG here representing those who are 40 and up below for tech. And this is going to be a quick unboxing of a cell phone that I've wanted for a minute. You know I am a fan of this company, Unihertz. I've owned the Jelly Pro, I've owned the Unihertz Atom. Didn't like the Titans. Never really was a fan of Blackberry. Keyboard's still cool, but I don't like that kind of phone. But I want to give you an unboxing of this one here. This is their Jelly 2. So this is kind of like the successor of the Jelly Pro series. Now with this particular phone, um, the size of it is still small and dainty. So it's made for an audience that likes this kind of size and you know like to have it or not to have an obtrusive phone um when carrying around so that's why i decided to get this and try it out because i pretty much think that this may be my daily driver so here's what you get in the box you get your instructions and everything right in here Inside of this bag is a wonderful phone. Before I get to the phone, underneath the holder, you get yourself a nice charger. And inside this compartment here, you get a charging cord and a wrist laner. Pretty cool. Now this phone retails for, let's see, I would say $200-ish, so some sites I've seen $205, some sites I've seen $209. People who are not uh, weary of the price or don't pay attention to this phone and never did, um, there's some places that sell it for $300, $400, so just know that retail price pretty much is $200 and some change. And here's the phone itself. It does come with a clear case as well in the box gotta find it but um what's cool about this phone let me give you some uh, real quick features about this phone okay first things first it's not as thin as the jelly pro but not as thick as the unihertz atom so it's closer to the atom more than the jelly pro so it's still technically in between but it's a pretty thick phone, and that's because of the battery size in here. It's a 2,000 milliamp watt battery, so this will last you all day when using the phone. Headphone jack right there, so that's what's still cool about um, this company. They still include a headphone jack on the phone. And right here is a component that has been reminiscent on older um, Samsung, Samsung smartphones. Excuse me. So this is an IR blaster. So you can control your television set and other um, things that take some um, remotes. So that's pretty cool that you can sit up like that. Has a nice camera here, 16 megapixels on the back, eight megapixels on the front. And look at this, a fingerprint reader on a phone this size. That's the flash right there. But fingerprint reader, I didn't set it up, but notice that it's in the middle. So this is reminiscent towards the uh, Samsung Note 9. Now, I told you before in past videos, one of the best fingerprint readers on a phone, the Note 9. So I am very eager to try this out and see how it works. It comes with a screen protector already on the phone, has the back button and recents button, but this runs Android 10 out of the box. And I believe that you can update this to Android 11. Uh, I'm hoping that I will get the update soon. But I believe with Android 10, you do have the uh, swipe gestures on there. So I can't wait to try that out. Um, you got your power button here, uh, volume buttons here on the side, or volume rocker, I should say, down and up. And this button right here, now you would think this would be the walkie talkie button like it is on the Unihertz Atom, but this button right here is just a shortcuts button. So you can just press it, long press, double tap, or double press, I should say. And it'll, you can open up whatever app. And when I say whatever app, I do mean whatever app that is on the phone. So if you want to sign Google Assistant to this, you can do that. Um, if you long press it, I'm out of the box, flashlight comes on. So it's a really cool shortcuts button that I think a lot of phone manufacturers should include on their phone. And you can't open it. 
I mean, you could probably hopefully find someone who knows how to open this to figure out how to open it and then hopefully in the future change out the battery. If you want to keep this phone for a while. Oh yeah, USB Type-C charging here on the side. Oh yeah, and the SIM card tray. It's a dual SIM card tray or it could be one SIM card and one micro SD card. You can install a micro SD card on here up to one terabyte to give you extra storage on the phone. How cool is that? So that is the unboxing of the Unihertz Jelly Pro. I'm gonna um, give this a whirl, let you know what I think about it. Um, test this out with apps, emulators, things like that. You know how I do and then give you my comprehensive review as soon as I finish using this and trying it out. So that's the unboxing, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, definitely leave that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Tell your friends about my channel and I hope to see you in the next video.